If we have an alternating voltage, and it is applied to a purely resistive load, the current through the resistor and the voltage across the resistor has a sinusoidal wave form, both in phase. What do we mean by in phase? When two waveforms of a circuit cross the zero point at the same time and reach their maximum values at the same time, these waves are said to be in phase. And instantaneous value at any point in time can be found by V T equal to VP sin omega T for voltage. Or I with respect to time equal to I P sin omega T for current. What if one of these waves shifts? Then we have a phase shift, which makes both waves out of phase, and we can say they have a phase difference. What is a phase difference? Phase difference is the presence of angular displacements between periodic waves of same frequency. We see even if these waves have same frequency, they start and finish at different times. They cross the zero line at different times and reach their maximum values at different times. In this case, we say the current lags the voltage by the angle theta, which happens to be approximately 45 degrees. And we can see that's because the current crosses the zero point or reaches its max after the voltage already has, while here the current leads by the angle theta, which is 40 degrees we can still notice the current crosses the zero mark and reaches max before the voltage waveform. The current leads the voltage. To find instantaneous voltage, in the case of out-of-phase waves, we use the formula V with respect to T, equal to Vp sin omega T plus theta for voltage. While for current, we have IT equal to IP sin omega T plus theta. For the reference wave, we know theta equals zero. So, we remember that when finding instantaneous voltage for the reference wave, phasers can be used to represent phase shift. The phaser in this case represents the value of both waves at zero degrees, and if rotated by 45 degrees, represents the value of the waves at 45 degrees. For this out of phase wave, when the current lags the voltage, the phaser at this placement represents the value of the waves at zero degrees, and if rotated by 45 degrees, represents the value of both waves at 45 degrees. Same for the case where the current leads the voltage. The phaser at this displacement represents the value of the wave at zero degrees, 